Two weeks after snow crabbing season was canceled in Alaska's Bering Sea for the second year in a row, scientists are release, releasing rather a new report. It reveals that they have a better idea now of what happened to the crabs. King 5 traveled to Kodiak, Alaska earlier this month to check out the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration's facility where this research was being done. Meteorologist Leah Pizzetti is here to explain what they have learned, Leah. Joyce, we've been on top of this story for weeks now, and this new study released by NOAA shows a clear cause of the crabbing crisis. It shows starvation is most likely the root of more than 10 billion snow crabs disappearing in just a couple years. When we visited Alaska, they told us a marine heat wave is a key part of this puzzle. Snow crabs prefer cold water, usually between 0 to 1 degrees Celsius. But 2018 and 2019 brought record warm temperatures to the Bering Sea with temperatures above three degrees Celsius. Scientists don't think the warm water directly killed the crabs, but it likely was a domino effect. In this newly released study, one researcher says the snow crabs faced a triple threat during the heat wave. They say the snow crabs metabolism increased in warmer waters, so they needed more food. However, their habitat became smaller, so they had a smaller area to find that food and had to compete against each other to eat. Data for 2022 and 2023 shows temperatures are almost back to normal in the Bering Sea, but it does not mean it will stay that way. Right now, researchers tell us it's a waiting game to see if the population will bounce back. You know, I do think for an Arctic species, the future is uncertain. Like I said, I'm an optimist and I can only hope that the conditions continue to support viable populations of snow crab. Scientists say canceling crabbing season will give the juvenile crabs time to mature, but that could take years, Joyce. And researchers told me another thing they're looking at is if the crabs had migrated to another location. They don't believe that is the case because surrounding waters have not seen an increase in crabs. So truly it is those secondhand impacts from these warming waters. And some people have wondered if overfishing has played a role. What do scientists say about that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Joyce, it's a very valid question. Mm -hmm. Scientists say yes, overfishing is a concern in other cases, but they don't think it is in this situation. They say the crabs that went missing were young and too small for commercial fishing. Noah says this appears to be one of the largest reported losses from a marine heat wave in the world. Wow.